Everybody, welcome back into GoBlueRaiders.tv and welcome into the Lynn Davis Squad Room, which is the home for Blue Raider basketball. And hey, who's this guy? Laron Dendy, uh, Sunbelt Player of the Year. And uh, Laron is uh, now kind of in the jet set life, aren't you? you you're, you're kind of uh, uh, all over the country and you don't have Mike Scutero there to, to plan all your travel. How's that working out? Oh, it's working out real good. Um, just doing a lot of traveling, you know, meeting a lot of new people and teams. Yep. As of uh, this past weekend, I guess, it came out that you are going to be, or earlier this week, that you're going to be uh, with the Washington Wizards and playing in the the, the NBA Summer League. Kind of give us a little bit of uh, – well, take a minute here and uh, kind of give everybody a, a little update on how you got from uh, – well, let's take after the Minnesota game up until where we are today. Uh, what all have you been up to to get to this point? Uh, just been working out. Been working out in Atlanta, then doing a lot of working out in South Carolina, and um, then uh, with the teams calling up and working out with them. And uh, like Washington D.C., I didn't get. It. I mean, Washington Wizards, I didn't get to work out with them, but you know they called around and uh, asked all about the workouts I've been having. And they, you know they got great responses, so they decided to put me on their summer league team. Yeah. And, and what does that mean? Does that, that, that doesn't guarantee you a roster spot, but it, it certainly gets you in the door, and now it's up to you, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, um, like well, the position I'm in, like, I, um, when they want me to get there, I'm going to work out. They're going to say I'm work out, and I think they want to give me, like, a, a season contract just because, yeah. like, all the workouts and, you know, what I did here. So um, we're going to go from there, and, you know, I hope everything work out. Yeah, I, I think – and, and there, you've got a lot of folks uh, – here in the in the Blue Raider Nation that are really really pulling for you and and I would imagine that uh, you know throughout all this time that that your Facebook and your Twitter and all kind of get that kind of kind of blows up doesn't it? is that kind of overwhelming a little? Oh, it is overwhelming and uh, you know a humble situation but uh, you know my phone it don't stay uh, stay alive as much now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll talk about the the teams you worked out for, and, and I know the Lakers was one of them, and and uh, and and because I did see a picture of you on Facebook wearing Laker practice gear. Oh uh, well, my first workout was actually with OKC. I, I went out there and I, I did a great job out there. But they told me it's like uh, he's a good guy, but he don't bring enough energy. So my my agent got on to me, you know, which is David Lee. And um, after the uh, after the um, workout, I went out with. Phoenix and after Phoenix I killed Phoenix. I uh, went up against some good players and then uh, after Phoenix I had went up to get the, and then uh, I got done with Phoenix at 12:30. No, no lie, 12:45. My agent called me and said Lakers was on the plane at 2:10, so I had to you know rush over and get ready for that. So I sh uh, shoot out the Lakers. I did a great job out there. Then went to the Mavericks and I got in the Mavericks at 2 o'clock on uh, that morning and worked out with them and I still did a great job with them. Sure. And and that's uh, so. I mean, you kind of got a little bit of a taste of what uh, what being a professional is all about. Because uh, I mean, it it was number one. You you're you're they were helping you make some of the arrangements and all that. But I mean, it's up to you to get there and be at point A at uh, at, at two ten to catch that flight to L A. and and to get to point B. Because if you don't get to point B to make your workout, you're not even going to be considered. Oh, yeah, not considered at all. Uh, you know, they're just going to look at you and tell you to turn right back around. You know, it's a business now. Well, let me let me ask you this. How uh, how uh, how did it help you over these last three months going through this uh, to uh, – how much how much were you helped by the, the, uh, the tight schedule and the discipline that you learned in this program – uh, knowing that you've got to do this, you've got to do that, you've got it's all got to come off like clockwork. Uh, from what Coach Davis and the staff here did to uh, to kind of instill that in you, how much has that helped you get to where you are right now? Uh, it helped me out a lot. You know, put me in a great position to you know uh, you know be mature about the situation, knowing that I, even though I might not get there on, like when I want to get there, or, uh, you know I might be tired. I still have to do what I do, work hard when I get there. And, you know, it helped me out a lot. You know, like Coach Davis already preaches, the preparation of the situation. So it helped me out a bit time. I would guess that your conversations with Coach Davis and 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 the the preparation 
that talking to him, talking to the other staff members and things like that, you probably didn't have a lot of surprises thrown at you when you when it came to the workouts. Oh, no, I didn't have no surprises at all. You know, only thing that, you know, only, time, only thing the teams are looking for really is just to go hard and bring energy. And I feel like I could bring that, you know, any given day. It's not like, you no know, change your jump shot. You know, you just bring energy and being tough. So, yeah, you know, they, nothing changed from that. Yeah, you, you didn't go and tell them, hey, I'm 6'10", I want to be a point guard, though, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I ain't telling them nothing like that. Uh, well, t- well, t- get, tell us about the Wizards and uh, and, and kind of give us a minute or two of, of what uh, Blue Raider fans need to know about the Wizards other than uh, then Laurent Dendy is going to be playing in the Summer League with them. Uh, the Wizards, uh, I know, like, you know, they got John Wall, Bradley Bill. John Wall, he won't be playing, but Bradley Bill will. And, you know, I uh, had phone conversations with him. And, you know, we feel like we won't have a good, uh, good bind when I go out there to Washington. I leave on the 8th to go out there and work, start practice. We'll have two days, actually, all the way up to the 12th. We're going to leave out to the 12th and go to Las Vegas. So uh, I think we're going to have a pretty good summer league team. And, you know, um, if we, if we win and we're playing championship on the 22nd, if not, then we go home on the 18th. Yeah, if I'm correct, most of those summer league games are on uh, NBA TV. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Uh, all the games going to be on N- uh, NBA TV. So, you know, y'all need to stay tuned and you know, watch me do work out there. <laughs> how many How many uh, games will you play in that tournament? Um, I think – if you if you keep playing, you get to okay. play a lot of games. But I don't know, like for sure. I know, like right now, uh, the first five games, our first game is gonna be against Atlanta Hawks on the thirteenth at one o'clock, but three o'clock this time. That's right, because Las Vegas is on Pacific time. So uh, at one o'clock in the afternoon on July thirteenth, write that down. And um, and uh, to be real honest, uh, I hope that you are so busy that we don't see you around here for a while, <laughs> because you're playing ball and uh, and doing it for pay but uh you you have been uh such a good friend uh throughout your which i mean it's hard to imagine you were, you were only here two years and only played one but you've meant an awful lot to us and we're in and the blue raider nation is extremely proud of uh of this opportunity that you're going to get with the wizards and uh and like wizards do pull a little magic okay and uh, and make some good things happen it sounds good to me. All right. Leron Dendy joins us today, and thank you for being with us. He is the newest member of the Washington Wizards, by the way, and uh, we will uh, gladly talk to him when he gets back into town. But for now, Chip Walter saying thanks for being with us here on GoBlueRaiders.tv.